Good evening everyone and welcome to the 2021 AFL Grand Final Edition of Around the World Darts. Now this is how it's going to work. Competitors will work their way from the number 1 all the way to the number 20 on the dartboard. If you hit 3 numbers in a row, you get to go again until you miss a number. After you've hidden all numbers, you must hit the bullseye to win. You can either hit the green part of the bullseye or obviously the red part of the bullseye. Whoever hits the bullseye first, they will be crowned the winners. Let's get straight into the competition. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now before the competition kicks off, I will have to remind you that Jake is playing for the D's and I will be playing for the Western Bulldogs. Here we go. Jake is going to kick us off here. Here we go. Jake misses the target. He's aiming for the number one. And he's hit it there. So he moves on to the number two here. Me to go next. Sam to go next here. Not very good dart play, but he hits the number one. And he misses number two. And he misses again. In fact, that one didn't even hit the dartboard. So, unfortunately, that will not register as a score. And he will stay on number two. Jake, looking for number two here. Gets it. This shot moves on to number three. And he has just missed there. Outside of number three. Sam will be aiming for the number two here. Hits 15 first, close. Hits number two there. Can he hit number three? Yes, he can. So he will move on to number four and take the lead here for the Western Bulldogs. But Jake, he's looking for number three. He's hit 19 and 17. And he's hit 17 again, so it's a handy advantage now for Sam. Can he take an even further advantage here? Looking for number 5, hits number 20 instead. Hits 18, so he's getting further off. And hits number 6, that is the next number he's looking for after 5, but... He has not hit five yet, so he can't be hitting number six. Jake moves on at pace and hits number three. Bit of wobbling of the camera. And hits number four while he's at it, while the camera is shaking. Jake hits number four and moves into the lead. Now looking for the number five. As things start to get close here. Sam hits number four though. Can he hit number five? No, he hits number 20. And that time he hits number five. Inches in and he'll take the lead back. Jake looking for number five now. Just hits above it. That one hits just inches into it. And he hits number six as well. So Jake moves on to number seven. Sam still looking for number six here. Can he get it this shot? No is the answer to that one. The second shot. No is the answer. The third shot. Yes, he can hit it. But he'll be ruining the chances of not being able to get it in on the first or second shot. Jake hits number six. Hits number seven. Can he get a triple? By word he can. He hits number eight. So he will get to go again. But if he misses number nine, he will not get to go after that so and he misses number nine so unfortunately that is the end of his turn but that is a handy lead now to jake sam hits number six with that one can he hit number seven unfortunately not he almost hit the number seven but he hasn't hit inside but that one does with inches just inside number seven jake Looking for the number 9. He hits 12 twice. And 
he hits number nine that time, so he moves on to the number ten as things start to get a bit close here. Sam looking. And missing his target there, jeez. And he hits the same spot, but that is not what he wants to hit. And the flight comes off the dart, so... It's just really a bad omen, that happening. As Jake hits number 10 with purpose. It's number 11, can he get a double, triple this time? He hits, oh, he doesn't. He hits outside the 12. Jeez. He is looking to get the game done and dusted with here, Jake. Sam. Jeez, he is, Sam, it's not looking that well here. He has hit outside number nine twice. But that one goes in, so he moves on to number ten. Oh my word. Those were some really bad darts. Jake is showing him that's how you do it, but he's not looking for the number nine here. He's looking for the number twelve, and he collects it. Moves on to number thirteen, and he misses it. It's number ten or number six. I couldn't quite tell. But it wasn't number 13. Sam lining up, hits number two. He's looking for uh, number 10 here. He hits number 15. He hits the outside of number 15. And that one hits number 10. So he will move on to 11. Still trailing behind. As Jake hits number four. Hits number four again. And it's number four. 13, I believe he snuck it in. Yes, he did. He looks confident about it, and he's not a lying man. So he's hit number 13, moves on to 14. Sam moves on to number 11 here, and he has missed it twice, and he has missed it three times. So that's going to be a massive setback, not getting a number in that turn. And Jake is just out to a handy lead, and he hits number 14 with purpose. He hits number 15 with purpose as well. Can he get 16? Yes, he... Oh, has he got it? I think he has. I'm pretty sure he has. No, he hasn't. He has not. As Sam hits number 11. Moves on to number 12. Hits number 12. And gets the triple, he moves on to number 14 and bridges the gap here in the grand final edition of Around the World Darts. Now, can he hit number 14? No, but he's hit the number 14, but he hasn't hit where he needs to hit inside the number 14. So, unfortunately, his turn ends and Jake wants to hit number 16. He can't seem to hit it at the moment, but there it is as he moves on to number 17 and he will bridge the gap even further. Sam, he's done the same thing. He's hit in between the number 14 but hasn't hit inside number 14. He's at 11 that time. And he's hit number 12, so he just cannot seem to hit number 14, unfortunately. That's going to set him back even further as Jake looks for number 17, gets number 2, gets number 19, and gets number 17 this time. So there you go, he moves on to number 18, making some inroads to number 20. As Sam finally hits number 14. Can he hit 15? No, he just misses by an inch. But that one is in, so he moves on to number 16 as the dogs try to mount a comeback here. As Jake looks for number 18, hits outside, hits the inside of number 18 this time, moves on to number 19. He hits number 19, he moves on to the 20 mark as he is throwing some good darts as of now. What can Sam muster up here? He hits just the outside of 19. I'm not sure what that's, that's not what he's looking for. He's looking for number 16. Has that hit it? I'm not sure if he has, 
We'll have to look if he gets another, if he's aiming for number 17 in his next shot as Jake hits number 20. And now he's on the ball side. That is so close to ending the game. It is just an inch, an inch outside of the green bullseye. Keep Sam in the game. And Sam. He hits. I don't think he's hit number 16. He's still looking for number 16. So can he get it this time? Yes, he can. And he will move on to number 17, keeping the door ajar. Jake only needs the bullseye. Gets close on that shot. Can he get it? No, that's a bit further away. And that one is going to miss as well. So it keeps Sam's chances and the dog's chances alive here. Sam looks for number 17. And he gets number 17. He gets number 18. He is still in the contest. And he gets number 19. Can you believe it? He is up to the number 20 now within three darts. He has closed the gap. Can he hit number 20? He is not very good and he's missed it. He has made a meal of it. Jake only needs the bullseye. Can he do it? He has. He's hit it. He's hit it. And he's hit it again. He's hit the red one this time. He's gone and hit the green and the red. And has put an exclamation mark on the D's grand finals chances. Of winning. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Jake gets the job done. He played for the D's and he's done them proud. What a game that was. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we'll see you in another one soon. Cheers.